Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, again we are having one very interesting system of equation. Here we have x cube plus y cube 35 and x plus 1 times y plus 1 over x square plus y square minus xy is 12 over 7. We have to find out real x and y. So let's get started by writing one algebraic identity first. It is a cube plus b cube formula. So we can write it is a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab. So I will write our equation number one, first equation because I will apply here. So equation will become x plus y, x square plus y square minus xy equal to 35. And second equation would be as it is unchanged x plus 1 times y plus 1 divided by x square plus y square minus xy equal to 12 over 7. Now let us multiply both the equation. What we will get once we are multiplying? This term x square plus y square minus xy it will be cancelled out from numerator denominator. So I will be having after that x plus y bracket x plus 1 in bracket y plus 1 equal to 35 times 12 over 7. So we can cancel writing over there 5. So it is 60 right hand side. So what we have now x plus y times x plus 1 times y plus 1 equal to 60. So we have to solve now this equation and this equation all together. Let's solve it. I will use here one identity. It is a plus b plus c whole cube and this formula we know a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus 3 times a plus b b plus c c plus a now in this formula if i will apply a equal to x a equal to x b equal to y and c equal to 1 see what will come out i will write x plus y plus 1 whole cube equal to x cube plus y cube plus 1 cube this is 1 plus 3 times a plus b so x plus y b plus c so y plus 1 c plus a so x plus 1. Now we can substitute values which we calculated. So this value we calculated equation number 3 let's call 60 it is and x cube plus y cube it is written over there 35 so i will write here 35 so what i will be having x plus y plus 1 whole cube equal to 35 plus 1 plus 3 times 60 so we can write it as 36 plus 3 times 60 180 so 216 which we can write further 6 cube. Now left hand side we have got x plus y plus 1 whole cube, right hand side 6 cube. Exponents are same. So base must be equal to each other. So it should be equal to 6. Take away 1 from both sides. I will be having x plus y value as 5. Now I will frame one easier system of equation which we will solve further x cube plus y cube equal to 35 and this equation x plus y equal to 5. Let's solve this system of equation for x and y. So I will write x plus y equal to 5 x cube plus y cube equal to 35. 
Now again I will use algebraic identity a cube plus b cube. So I can write x plus y x square plus y square minus xy equal to 35. So x plus y is equal to 5. So which I will substitute here 5 times x square plus y square minus xy equal to 35. Divide both sides with 5. So I will be having x square plus y square minus xy equal to 7. Now from this equation I will write y is equal to 5 minus x and this value I will substitute in this equation. So let's put x square plus 5 minus x whole square minus x 5 minus x equal to 7. Let's expand. It would be as it is a minus b whole square. So a square plus b square minus 2ab. So minus 10x minus 5x plus x square equal to 7. 1x square, 1x square, 1x square. So we will write 3x square minus 15x plus 18 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 3. So we will divide this equation with 3. So ultimately we will be having quadratic x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. From here we will calculate two solutions. And then we will put over here. So we'll have x and y value. So let me write x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. Let's solve using factorization method. I will write x square minus 3x minus 2x. 5x as 3 plus 2. So plus 6 equal to 0. Let's take x common from the first two, x minus 3, minus 2 common from the last two, so x minus 3 again. So x minus 3 is overall common, in bracket x minus 2 equal to 0. So we will put x minus 3 equal to 0, so from here x is equal to 3. And once we will put x minus 2 equal to 0, we will get x is equal to 2. So 2x values. Now I will calculate the y value. y was 5 minus x. So here I will write y will be 5 minus 3. So y equal to 2. So solution set here from this equation we can write it is 3 comma 2. And from this equation, we will write y is equal to 5 minus x, so 2, so y will be 3. So system will generate two solutions. I will write 2 comma 3. So ultimately, we are having two set of solution, x comma y equal to 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 3. I hope this video will be effective for you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.